The game comment made me think about the book, Good Strategy, Bad Strategy, where I think strategy is used very loosely and it's very ambiguous and people use tactics and call it strategy with post-rationalization if they're lucky. And yeah. in the book, if the listener hasn't read it yet, it basically just says, hey, what playing field are we on? What game are we choosing to play? Yeah. What are the rules of success? And sometimes, sometimes when you look at a perceived competitor, they might be playing a completely different game. They're like playing soccer and you're like, and you're playing American football. And <laughs> therefore, if you're playing a different game, they're not a competitor because you're not competing. Like you're targeting different customers. Success looks different for the different company. And yeah, and you could abstract it like high or low or whatever you want, but I, what's helped me become a better collaborator with cross-functional partners is just first starting with, I wouldn't necessarily use the terminology, but I think I might now because it seems to be a good metaphor is like, what's the game we're playing? What's the success metric? And I think in a lot of ways, it's admitting we don't really have a lot of data on what the game is. We, we have a hypothesis and we just need to test it. That's the game we're playing. And as a designer, like June, when I was like junior, it was like, no, go all out, make the best experience and yeah. stuff. But sometimes you just need to know, okay, minimum usable to just figure out if this is a good value test, if they respond to it in a good positive way. And then I like what you said at the beginning as you're introducing yourself that the job of product leadership uh, is to ho hold themselves accountable on delivering on the promises they make instead of saying, oh, we're going to work on it later and never do yeah. it just to placate the rest of the team. Oh, yeah, no, we can work on it later, but then we work on the next thing. It's holding themselves accountable to, okay, once we actually learn something, we, we build, maybe we measure, usually don't learn. It's like the norm. But uh, when you actually build, you actually measure because there's instrumentation and you learn, then like you have data to say, oh, this actually might be a valuable experience. Okay, design, go ahead, like go full hog on like making it like the best experience or workflow or whatever you need it to be. Yeah, exactly. And I think the, I think I like your analogy of the playing, playing different different games while you're, or, or the mismatch of soccer versus American football or something like that, right? Because yeah. the, I think sometimes the game is, you may have correctly identified it as soccer, but you figure out the option is maybe you don't play soccer yet. Maybe you try and play it on different terms or a different field or something like that, because there's so many divisions to markets or customers or things like that. And you can figure out, hey, this set of rules benefits me, or at least even more generically, this structure of how customers behave here or what they want is more advantageous to me. So I'm going to move over here and over here they're playing Foursquare, right? Or something like that. So yeah, I think this concept of, of games and metagames and figuring out where you are and figuring out what kind of uh, advantages work for you and where, what advantages you have for your organization is really big, a really big thing. And as I've earlier in my career, I spent uh, a lot of time as an individual, as, a, as an individual contributor and as a PM. And now as thinking more about the team, right, I, it's more about how do I think about empowering other people to think this way and to do this in a repeatable way to do this discovery, update the product, update for learnings, update that, and just keep doing it in a way that that is driving value really. And that's a different challenge it's a different thing it's a mix of how do you communicate how do you communicate and stay aligned with the rest of the organization on vision and principles and then process right a lot of process of between product and design specifically for our organization right design is part of the product organization which i think is a more of an expression of kind of where we are as a company and in our market of we're relatively young and we're still doing a lot of learning and so this becomes a really core relationship for us of product and design being essentially tied at the hip, right? Of needing to learn this market together, needing to own the challenge together and not still having 
creative tension, but making sure that everybody has the aligned goal towards the aligned product goals that, that you were mentioning before. The pairing of like product management and product design in a product org, I'd even say data science, research orgs, the bigger the company gets, there's several disciplines in the industry of like product, right? Being able to support discovery, support delivery, all that stuff. 